welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing some Kennen mid versus Azir. I uh, want to do a Kennen game because nobody plays Kennen. Literally, I don't even remember the last time I have seen Kennen in high elo ever. Seems that nobody plays him. So why not do a video on him? He has pretty good AP ratios on every single ability. Has good AoE. He's pretty short range. Azir matchup. I would say is normally Azir favored just because... He'll probably just be difficult to kill, and he just scales well. So, you know. One of the things that kind of sucks about Kennen is that your wave clear is really trash. So all I can do is just, like, spam Q on the wave if I want to, to try to, like, shove it quickly. But uh, players will just stand behind minions, and it's going to be very difficult for me to find angles to, uh, to Q them. But if Q does land, it will hit pretty damn hard. It does deal a pretty uh, substantial amount of damage. It's just a matter of finding those angles. Eventually, we'll just reach level 3 and we can look a bit easier because then we can use our E forward. Probably can't get that one. We do have Ignite, so our goal is definitely to eventually kill... So I don't want to take any poor trades early on if possible. Although we're probably going to get traded sometimes. Of course, that's not possible to uh, stop getting hit by. It's just a matter of somewhat being respectful of doing uh, only trades where I think that I can go forward and like get maybe a little bit of an advantage from it. And that will probably be at level 3. I almost landed that. Nice juke. Azir is so far forward if uh, he would be gankable, but it's fine. We can go for the trend. Good luck, guys. I hope you can go kill that guy. You guys got his flash. Nice. Azir hard juke, so I have to try to predict that movement to land my Q. Rek'Sai is going to re-gank top. Bot lane both died. Bummer. No gank mid is going to happen. Trying to shoot my Q right on the outskirts of the minions to try to hit. Although they also have fleet too on Azir. So it's like very... Make it so you can't lose lane oriented build with runes. It might be only possible to kill with a gank. I actually messed up my W there. He's dead. So what I did is Q flash. Should be able to run away too. And when you do Q flash, uh, you can buffer it. So it is way harder to reaction speed it. And then I just pop ignite immediately because they'll probably flash away and we can finish them. But the problem is, I'm stuck in lane because I don't have TP, so now I'm just in a terrible spot. I need a base and go buy my items, though. I also messed up that fight because I uh, procced my passive, and when you do your 3-hit passive and stun them, all of the marks go away, and I used my W afterwards, so it didn't do anything. Now I'm just stuck mid, dude. This is so annoying.
It's okay. At least once I do get my reset off, I'll be very strong. This guy's just running bot side. Oh. Okay, cool. So we get a kill from those guys. I can finally get my reset off. I'll gladly just sacrifice some platings. That's two kills for my team. I can buy something like this. So now we have level two boots to get back mid faster. Also, for potential ganks and cannon without flash is also like more difficult to play because a lot of times you want to use your ultimate and flash together because it's kind of short range. And, uh,. The most important thing about your ultimate is that it doesn't really deal that much damage at the beginning. If you didn't know, it does more damage every single time they get hit. So you want to keep them inside of the ultimate for the full duration. Because if you don't, then it just doesn't deal as much. So. I don't know if I'm getting ganked by Trent. I'm not right, I'm okay. It's just that Trend is missing and Trend is six. Nice, got that minion. Because I don't have my ultimate for a bit, I don't think that I could really do anything. There's other people coming around mid too. Ultimate's coming back up. Trinomir is still missing. Isn't that kind of strange? I really feel like he's around mid, I swear. Unless he just won AFK. I guess I'm not worth the shutdown, so it doesn't really matter if they spend a lot of resources to kill me, it wouldn't bother me. I might eventually ultimate just to pressure My QCD is finally short enough that it's kind of spammable. All it takes is one Q here, maybe? Oh, never mind. There's no angle. Dang, close. I just want to do a little bit of poke because he's finally kind of far up so I could look for him. I might just want to reset instead, though. Now that I'm, like, a, a bit chunked, I don't think that I can 100 to 0. I'm not fed enough for that. Thresh is alive. Okay, so Thresh could be roaming, I guess. Although, I'm just being shoved under tower, so I think I'm safe unless they go for a dive. They're probably just doing the grubs, then. We already got two of them, though, so they'd only have four... Whoa, you just went in? Oh, never mind. Everybody's missing again. Huh. I'm just gonna not step up. I don't know where their bot lane is now, so I still don't see that Thresh. Oh, see how much damage that did? It does so much. Oh, Thresh was around mid. We just saw him. Oof, that was so close to landing. My team is winning so hard on the bot side right now. 
So I don't really need to do anything. I'll just play it safe. When I have Proto Belt, I can maybe look, but until then, I mean, why why risk throwing the game for no reason? My level 11 spike is also insane. I had flash. So because Azir used flash, I can just use my own to probably escape. So I get to barely survive. That's actually pretty good. In most cases, I think that I should always be dying if I get jumped on like that. So, for me to just be able to survive it is uh, really good. Plus now, once I finish level 11, it'll be much easier to have a, a better chance at just killing the Zir outright. Since we know if we get on top of them and we like either dodge his ultimate or they already used it or I get on top of him after he uses it, he can't flash away, right? Ken and ultimate is kind of short range, so even if you ulti somebody, just flashing away normally saves their life. All I can do is farm. And just wait for my ult. Q farm doesn't feel that bad though, I mean. Feels 371? I think I just one shot back wave, huh? It's not bad. The thing that I think is gonna happen is that I'm gonna get ganked. And Azir will insect me into the uh Zinzo. I have my proto belt in base now. Maybe I should just go buy it. One hit. Azir has level 11 advantage though. And item advantage. So like two things. I still think I would win on 11 though. If I play it correctly. Wait, no, he's not 11 either. Yeah, see? So they wanted the plate really badly. So what happened is that when I already landed uh, earlier Q and I go in, if I can just land everything on them and stun them, the initial stun deals more and consecutive stun steal, uh, not deal more, but stun for longer. And that is normally enough to try to, like, chain CC stun. Game's in such a good position now. I can use my E on turret if I really wanted to. You get bonus attack speed at the end of your E. You can't auto attack during it. Um, other things that I didn't really mention is, like... Oh. Azir does have ult. Azir's just dead. They have no escape. We're just gonna win off of this Rek'Sai, man. Everybody's so fed now. Your three hit passive lasts six seconds as well, so you actually have a lot of time once you land your initial Q to do it. <laughs> because it stays on them for a really, really long time. So we can buy that. I'll probably go... Oh, are they gonna FF? Maybe. No, maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna try to go behind them. Or I can just go for Azir, huh? It should be pretty easy to kill at this point. I wonder if they'll face check me. But they have Azir at wall. Dang. 
I'll just do harass and then leave. Oh my goodness. I anticipated them trying to kill me and then try to juke. So I wanted them, or I threw it in the juking pattern so they could try to outplay because all it would have required is a few more auto attacks and I would die. In the future, if I was to fight again, I guess I just don't use my ult. My ultimate did a lot of damage, but I didn't get every single proc off, so... What? I didn't have a mark on that cannon, so I didn't get it? Seriously? Okay. God, my ultimate CD is so short. I can kind of use it whenever. kind of popping off with these fights. Oh my god, dude. I got such a good fight there. <laughs> I was able to land everything onto his ear, and I also was able to stun them. Uh, I was looking at the amount of marks on people, so made it so easy. Nice. Dude, Kennen's actually a pretty fun champion. I'm surprised that he's not played a little bit more often, because I feel like he has that feeling of, like, even if your teammates are losing, and I know that Obviously, like, my teammates aren't. But this isn't my first cannon game. I've been playing him for quite a bit today to try to get a video on him. And I've been popping off a lot. And I've almost been carrying when my teammates are kind of just complete liabilities. So... It's just because of his ultimate. So you always have a chance. If you land, like, a three-man ultimate when you're 1v5, you might be able to carry it. Zoe doesn't feel that way. Oh man, he has flash. I really don't want to use my ultimate on this guy. I don't want to use my ultimate on this guy either. I'd rather just save it for like a zero. Well, GG's. So yeah, that was a uh, Kennen mid. The next game will be a Kennen game where I had to try super hard because my teammates were liabilities. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the stomp. And if you want to see uh, a game where I'm really far behind, stay tuned for the second game. I think my League of Legends client possibly crashed. No, maybe not. It's just frozen. Okay. Didn't do the most, but also nobody really camped for me, so I kind of had to do it on my own. But as you can see, you can kill people solo pretty easily. I just had to wait for the certain spikes that allowed me to do that. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Farewell, bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing some Kennen, something that I <clears throat> have not seen anybody play and feels like a really long time. I don't know why nobody plays this champ, but... Uh, I don't remember the last time that I've seen a cannon. Like, my god, nobody plays him. Cannon, though, is a pretty insane team fighter. Depending on if they have squishies, I do think that uh, enemy team comp does have a few uh, annoying people that might be kind of difficult to kill, like Alawi and Zack. But, yeah, a uh, pretty fun champion. I actually used to play cannon really long ago. I mean, he's kind of always been the same in a way. But I just remember playing him, and because he's super old champion, I'm pretty sure he was literally in the game at Season 1, so. I think I'm going to wait until I'm level 3 before I play aggressive. Kennen has uh, some pretty damn good AP ratios, though. Basically, every single ability uh, has a good AP ratio. 85% on Q. 
which is this the skill shot shuriken not really the best range on it but if it sticks then it does quite a bit three hit passive that just stuns people doesn't do any damage e has 80 percent which is when you're the little lightning bolt now do i just want to run at this guy He's playing kind of far back, to be honest. And if I run in, there might be a Zac nearby, too. Wow, I really miss that minion thing. I might just play it safe still. I don't want to mess up lane, because if I do, it's really bad, since I have Ignite. And TP is the one that would make it so I don't have to... Uh, fix my lane. I guess I'll do Q spam on the wave for now. Q is kind of a long CD and it does give him an angle to harass, but... What? My auto attack canceled? I know that cannon level 6 all in is crazy strong, so that's kind of what I'm waiting for because... My consistent damage when I have my uh, ultimate going is insane. Of course, he'll be 6-2, and then we'll probably just try to knock me away, but... I don't know why that guy stepped up, but because he did, that allowed me to, uh, fight him. Yeah, he kept on walking forward, so I just, like, kept on auto-attacking him. After you use your E when you're in the lightning bolt form, you get bonus attack speed, which is pretty nice. I'm not playing, like, AD by any means, but, uh, you do have a four-hit passive where you... From your W, your next auto attack applies your passive and deals a little bit of magic damage, so that's why it went so well. Yeah, I'm be honest, guys, this doesn't seem very good. I'm almost level 6, though, which is... Does my ultimate work on minions? Ah, he leveled up. Well played. I was hoping to kill him at level 5 because I figured that it would deal a lot, but I guess it really didn't deal that much. Kind of disappointed with it. Although I didn't get a buy yet, and he did buy, and also he did kill people, so as you can see, his purchase was pretty good. He got to buy about 1.1k worth of items, and I still haven't bought yet, so that's probably the reason why. Well, he didn't panic at all, you know? We'll just clear these. I can help out with this as well. Just uh, mark everything, use my W to wave clear. We're probably going to go protobelt first item because uh, there aren't that many items that I feel like are going to be very good for Kennen. You don't need mana items, obviously. It is nice to have a bit of CDR, and protobelt does give it. It's a pretty inexpensive item. The dash forward is good as well because... You don't always have your flash available. Ooh, I gotcha. Not bad. One Q honestly deals quite a bit. Dang, I was hoping that it would one-shot those minions, but it didn't. 
That's okay, though. I can maybe step up really aggressive. That wasn't that bad. I should have uh, backed away sooner, though. That's pretty good. I should just stun and leave, I guess. His wall is just the problem. How can I play around his wall where I win? I win. So what I did is I ran straight forward, but then I immediately sidestepped. Uh, so I didn't, like, fully commit onto him. And I think that's, uh, why we won there. <laughs> You're gonna ulti for me? Okay, dude. You got me. <laughs> You're really gonna commit your ult. That's fine, man. I'm solo killing my lane, so I'm chill. Plus, you might be dead. Wow. Graves did no damage there. Hello. He'll probably die here, right? Lots of AoE damage coming through. Thankfully, Azir doesn't have ultimate to knock my entire team into the tower, too. Not bad. I guess I'll just go top here. I should, probably should have done this sooner. <clears throat> Since uh, Jax is... Yo, just stay mid. This is better. Why are you coming top? Okay. I won't take your farm. Thanks for the assistance, I guess. Uh, she was really a bit uh, too deep inside of the top lane, so... Managed to get a kill. Nice. Or a kill for Jax, rather. This fight's gonna end up bad. Because I was top, I'm gonna be super late, so this uh, means that mid will be able to get there before me. He also got out smited. Wow, why does... Uh, oh, you get tenacity when you do that, huh? Graves took so long to get back. It's rough. Oh, well. We'll maybe be able to clean them at least, right? Milio is carrying. Like, honestly, Milio kind of just 1v9'd our entire team. Well played. Maybe bot lane's really fed, huh? Yeah, I didn't even realize that that fight was much harder than anticipated, probably because of the bot gap, but that's okay. Thankfully, uh, their bot lane is squishy, right? And when I reach level 11... Just drop my ultimate on top of people. As you can see, I kind of one-shot Lucian. With your ultimate, one of the biggest things as well, and why I think that maybe Kennen isn't as played as much as, uh... Your ultimate deals ramping damage, where it deals more every single time they get hit by a lightning bolt, up to six times. So, if you only hit them at the beginning, it actually deals pretty inconsistent damage. And a lot of times, after people get stunned, they can run out of it with some type of ability. So I think that's kind of a big deal for Kennen. You need to lock somebody down inside of your ultimate for the full duration to really pop off hard. That's really bad that Jax just gave that gigantic bounty, huh? Oh well, let's go back mid. Why is Milio mid again? Yeah, 
Getting tired of your shenanigans, bro. I'm just gonna flash on top of you while being a lightning bolt. <laughs> I can't reaction speed that. Man, I want to shove in next wave. Okay, cool. I was worried about Zack, but Zack's killing Ezreal, so it's chill. I guess we will find out if I'm good enough at Kennen to carry this, because Ezreal is 0 5 0 right now. Okay, so. Rocket Belt. Shadow Flame would be quite good. But I think that I might go Lyandries instead. The reason for Lyandries is. Even Azir is building HP tankiness. So this is going to make it so these three do burn, which is pretty nice for just the team. I don't think I could ever build enough AP that I can just kill them uh, with burst. So Plus, it makes me tanky, right? If I'm not going to be able to one-shot them... Dang, dude, I almost lived. But my team lost on topside. I was so fed too. Dude, my ultimate CD is kind of short, isn't it? Who is this? Jax? That is, he has no ult. He should just die here. Oh, he's gonna escape somehow? Nah, maybe not. Uh, do I just go top still? Alawi has no MR, but... Got your sterics, that's step one. Step two is just immediately all in because now you don't have sterics, so you don't get a shield. As long as I can stun her. She was trying to basically heal herself back up to outplay me because Elawi's tentacle slams cause her to heal depending on how low she is, so. There's a chance that if she got off one slam with all those tentacles nearby, I instantly would not be able to one-shot her, and then we lose. Although I didn't burn Ignite either, so I guess I could have always just burned that instead. Top lane shoved out. I'm going to sell my Dorans just to buy this even sooner. And what do I want to go next? Maybe a Shadow Flame next and then Death Cap? Like, and just get huge AP going off. Dang it, man. That could have been so sick. I was hoping Lucian would continue going towards me, but he didn't. I almost stole the rift, but... Didn't work. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I was trying to get his passive for my teammate. Did it work? No. Zack will stick around and kill me, right? Or Lucian. Well, his base. I feel strong, man. Why do people not play Kennen? He also has a pretty fun playstyle. I really like his three hit passive stun mechanic. 
He's cool. Uh, going top. Dragon Sun up for a bit. I have flash for next team fight, which is kind of important for Kennen because if you're able to flash on top of their carries, you kind of just can solo carry a team fight if you're lucky. At the same time, remember when you do that, the enemy team is aware. It's such a easy telegraphed thing, so if they have like Azir and stuff, you could always ulti me out of the team immediately. Do I want to try to kill Azir? He's gonna sit here and just wait. Azir was last hitting top, so he'll probably eventually arrive. And then it's just a matter of him shoving out another wave, and hopefully we can kill him. Of course, Azir is very good at escaping. So, that's the problem. Really? I just lose that? Really? I really expected my ultimate to do more. Damn, that's that's my fault. I guess. And you, you're you probably not going to kill him now, huh? Oh, thank god you did. It was your red buff. I guess I need to pop Ignite. I mean, he does have more items than me at that moment. Maybe I popped my ultimate too soon. I really th think my ultimate range is bigger than it is, so I popped it when I was kind of far away. Otherwise, I get to just burn flash over the wall. But it seemed like a pretty free fight, so I'm going to purposely not do it, you know? <sighs> but, I mean, what do you expect, right? I never play Kennen, so... Maybe if I had a bit more practice on them, I can easily understand when I need to be uh, committing my sums to get them. I'm going to try to loop behind this guy. Karma's looping, too? I got his ult. I guess that's pretty good. We need to do the dragon. Dude, Graves is just, like, not close. Okay, got Lucian's Flash. Azir TP's in, way too aggressive, so this guy will just instantly die. Jax is caught, but surviving. And now we do this. We should be able to get it, right? She's dead. Nice. Good secure by Ezreal. I actually messed up the timing of it, so. Ten seconds, my ultimate, too. What? Who pinged? Sometimes they don't know people are pinging because somebody's down here, or they're saying that I need to be back mid. I don't think I even need to be back mid. Oh, well. By a sweeper, because we're kind of an assassin. They are just rushing Baron. Graves is not paying attention to it, or just shoving. This time I use my Ignite.
I killed him. Anybody else able to assist with uh, getting the rest? No? Pretty good fight, though, because, I mean, if we're just going to lose Baron straight up, at least we get to get some of them, no? I was able to kill Azir instantly. It sucks that I couldn't immediately go in because I had no flash to get over the wall, so I had to hex gate over to try to cut them off. Otherwise, we would have just given them all Baron. Azir would have never died. And I feel like getting their Barons off is really important. We just need Death Cap now. They still have no MR. Oh wow, Karma lives, nice. Getting closer to 16 as well. Level 16 spike will be crazy. I have no AoE, so I can't wave clear. Make them ulti at least. Whoa, why are you going in so hard? Okay, Jax killed Milio, I guess. I don't know why we're doing this. It's just like not... By we, I mean the Jax going that far to just take a bad fight. I'd rather let them come towards us. And I'm low too. I was like 40% HP because I got hit by a Lucian cooling at the beginning of the fight. So I don't want to fight that. <laughs> that way at least. God, it one in seven. I already knew it was a bad fight from the beginning. Oh, well. We'll just have to get 16 now. We're not going to stop that guy. I guess it's better to save the turret and just give the inhib so we can at least farm it. Cool, nice kill, guys. My flash is coming back up, so we're just going to hopefully be able to win confidently next team fight, and then that enables us to just maybe win the game. I don't want to get ganked by Zack and lose Flash. That would suck so bad right now. Azir has decap. I guess Azir is more important than anybody else if I can get on top of him, that is. I guess I'll ulti this. I didn't want to ulti until I saw the Azir, but he's just still pushing, so I guess that was worth it. All we can do is wave clear versus him. We can't fight him because my ulti's down now. You're just dead. I gotcha. The thing is, my CDs are kind of low enough where uh, my passive can stay on him, and I can multiple rotation from my W. My W CD is only 4 seconds, and it lasts for 6, I think it says, so I can basically just continue spamming W over and over again and kill him that way. So not bad, we didn't lose our turret. We got another dragon. Death cap soon.
is is you're gonna come bot and shove. If I die, the game's kind of just feels over. Okay, cool. I shove really fast. That's so good. Nice. Azir is topside? He's gonna run towards me, no? Oh my god. My Q hit so hard. Did 800 damage. Oh, my ability missed, bro. Are they are they doing it? No, Zach's not there. Okay, so Azir died, Alawi's dead. I think just kill this guy. Really? And you guys weren't able to kill him too. God, Milio is just so good, man. I can't believe that I landed. You landed your E on this guy and you can't even kill him? Oh my god. Not his E, he landed Ezreal W. And I wasted my flash too. Nobody's gonna kill this guy, huh? This is so pathetic. <laughs> well, GG's guys, really good try, I guess. No comment. Probably would have won if we just swapped mids, but oh well. I had the, the worst team, so. GG's. A uh, pretty good try at carrying on Kennen. I think that if we just had a bit of a better um, time with our teammates, we could have probably carried it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Farewell. Goodbye. Bye-bye.